when you don't grow up in a home where you're like shown what love is, it's hard, it's a hard life to live. So I started falling into these relationships that were really toxic. The one relationship I ended up in, it quickly like escalated into just a lot of chaos. You're in constant fight or flight mode. Where am I gonna get my drugs? Where am I gonna get money? There was a struggle to find food. I was homeless living under a highway bridge. There was no neutral ground I could go to where I felt safe. One day we were in the pharmacy and my boyfriend had bags of food and clothing. I was like, where'd you get that? And he was like, oh, there's this van that hands out food and clothes. And I think that started our relationship with Ed and Shelley was, we would call them and they would come to us. I just found her to be in a space where this wasn't her. As we built more relationship with her, she felt more comfortable with us and opened up a lot more. It was clear to us every time we met up with them that she was not happy and she really didn't want to be in that lifestyle at all. Things started getting really bad. He was starting to like steal from stores at knife point and drug dealers were after him and I felt my life being threatened. And the mission van shows up and it's Ed and Shelley and I think they could like sense that I was just done. I didn't want to keep fighting this fight anymore. So they had said, you know, we could help you. So I hopped in the van and I, I was finally safe. When I first walked into the Women and Families building, it was kind of like, this isn't real. Like, too good to be true feeling. I couldn't believe the amount of like care that and like they really wanted to make sure I was okay. I moved into my apartment. You get your own room, your own bathroom, but it was like, whoa, like this is way different than from the shelters kind of thing. And then your meals are made for you like literally don't have to worry about anything like i just have to show up being homeless you don't have that stuff so i went through the the program for three months i've done so much work with you know my sponsor my counselor my case manager here and then you start living your life like i done things that I normally wouldn't even do before my addiction and like it feels good and I've made friends like they're actual friends they're not just surface level type friendships and you know having self-esteem I've built connections everything's been on an upward trajectory what excites me about Christy is that she has a future what she's gone through and the recovery that she's put in so far has given her an opportunity. The sky's the limit. Like she can do whatever she wants and go wherever she wants and be whoever she wants to be. And she doesn't have all these barriers. To see her have life and life in her eyes and, and just to be able to come alive mm -hmm. and uh, to come from a place of being hopeless to now hope filled. It's, it's, it's beautiful to it's, see. It's really beautiful. It's given me hope for my future that when things come my way that are like difficult or I'm not sure what to do, I have people to lean on, I have support, I have things I never had before. And I, I'm very grateful for that.